Hello everyone, welcome to Metro. At last. It's been a while. Just a, just a little bit. Oh, thanks to tech issues and me feeling like crap. It's just, this has not happened for um, a while. But no, here we are today. Finally getting back into the swing of things. And picking up where we left off, which is apparently chapter two. I can't even remember what we've done. Ah, uh, yeah. Let's catch up on the on the small bit of chat that we've had. <laughs> Pokey, hello and welcome. Stream. Mal, hello and welcome. Stream. <laughs> it's no secret that you two are friends. It's really not. Oh, <laughs> uh, hello, welcome, Mock. Yes. Oh, there goes my sub. No sub, only Dom. Funny. Eat food now. I read that when it first came up in chat, and I was like, really, really could go for a subway right now. Still feel like that. I really could go for a subway right now. Problem is, it's 1am. No fucking places open right now. Actually. I'm pretty sure, you know, some takeaways are open right now, but... I'm streaming, so by the time I'm finished, they will be closed. And really, I should go to sleep at that point. But I went to bed at, oh god, nine. I went to bed at nine, had a two hour nap. Woke up, I was like, oh my god. I feel like I want more. Tried to sleep for more, but you know, I was just like, I don't know, I'm actually awake. So. Forced the anorexics. Helpful, I suppose. Uh, thank you to Pokey and Mock for your contributions to the Stream Challenge. Very much appreciated. Um, I know that I have Pokey considers you a friend, but you'll take that as a compliment. I'm waiting for Pokey to come in and say, <laughs> Ryder is a Ryder is a person. <laughs> right. Uh, let's let's flick over to um, the gameplay screen, shall we? We've got the sound there, and we've got we've got the chapter summary, which was playing because I completely forgot that it does that when you um, click load or continue. So yeah, we've had that. But I thought, you know, I wouldn't continue past that. So you know, excuse me. Oh. Mal, you wrote that. You wrote Gary is Gary. And I saw it was you, but I swear, I looked over and I was like, oh yeah, there we go. Pokey says Gary is Gary. Just a very supremely Pokey-like thing to say. Oh, all right, let's, let's read this out though, because Artyom's voiceover didn't work because this game's too quiet. Otherwise, it's, this game's either too quiet or it's too loud. It's not as bad as Prey, but it's still not great with the sound mixing. Riga Station was only the first stop on my journey, but the caravan went no further. So before parting ways, we drank to our celebrate our survival. The vodka didn't drown my fear of travelling to Polis alone, but I was about to find myself with an unexpected and notorious partner. Pew pew time. I can't remember any of the buttons. Oh, there's a crouch. Oh, there we are. Okay, so it says that he is my objective. Yeah, I can't talk to him. Hmm. Um, I also love this game's creatures because I've watched the theories on how they evolved and how they work from Roanaker Gaming. Yeah, from what I can recall, they actually did their research for this. Well, to be fair, um, uh, Dimitri did when he wrote the book. So yeah, the book, apparently, the book is good. If you can try, and, if you can get your hands on an English translation of it, I, I'd recommend checking it out. Hey, baby, you like what you see? Consider I was looking at the door over there when you said that. No. Dimitri is such a Slavic name. It really is. It's like Dimitri is um, such a Slavic name in the same breath that um, John is such an English name. Or British name, I should probably say, because you won't find many people in... The, well, you won't find as many people commonly in America named John as you would in England. You were thinking John too! <laughs> Damn it, Malrus! Oh, 
with you and uh, with with that today and with you and Tia last night, I'm I'm pretty sure that you just you know hijack people's brainwaves. I want to slow again. Have I? You've entered a residential area where there's no guns or shenanigans allowed. Are you ready? I am ready because I've forgotten where the shop is. Sitting in this crap hole is useless. Perhaps I'm the Eldritch being hijacking thoughts. Oh my god. What's it with me and attracting Eldritch beings? There's Pokey, there's Minoral, and there's you. Three Eldritch beings, and then, well, actually. Zira isn't so much an Eldritch being, but she is an extra planar being, I would say, at the very least. I wonder if I can actually you know, go. Oh, she's gone. So I, was saying, I was wondering if I could go over to her and actually you know, pay some bullets for sex. Wouldn't it wouldn't you know, actually happen because Watch me get the MC8 for that. Oh, God, ten with tentacles. I need a quick refresher on what the controls are. Wireless controller. Preset. There we go. Aim, alt fire, fire. Women's infantry, secondary, melee, sprint, lighter, nud, nud, medkit, jump, crouch, use, weapons infantry. Okay. Seems simple enough. All it's requiring is here you know, for me to actually be able to use these. You know, you really need to push it all that way because. Always there, and you just push a good foot that way. It's napalm also weapons of fire. I mean, yeah, I... As I entered the abandoned tunnel with Bourbon, I wondered if I'd been wrong to trust him. But the station. Well, that was a long chapter. And there was no telling when I'd have another chance to leave Riga. Uh. Hello, welcome, ZJ. You see my dog mark? Yeah, I replied. You tagged you me in the um, Discord and I replied. <laughs> yes, half scene. Are we going through this part? Weapons cocked right before cutscene. Yeah, yeah, it even we brings the HUD free. up. Now keep your eyes peeled. The hand car ride is over. Lots of tough guys died in these tunnels. But if we watch each other's backs, we'll get there. So he just fired. Oh, he's actually shooting ah, that's me. That's just a single lurker. They rarely uh, is it this game that starves you of ammo? Yeah, pretty much. Watch your ass. Or another Metro. No, it's this one. Because I've only ever played this one, and yeah, this one really starves you of ammo. Unless you play on Spartan mode, but then you don't get the full appreciation. It just turns it into more of a non horror but action game. Hey, little power coat, you see? No, no problem at all, DJ. It's fine. Got me and my bastard gun and my double barrel shotgun. We need to play Metro again, but but. What's what in the but but? Be extra quiet here. There should be a roadblock in second battle. Reminder, now so is or how it spells. Do not care for societal norms such as consent and are resistant to boot to bullet for no reason. Yep. That looks like a... Don't like where I am at the game right now. Yeah. Ah. Blank stain. In the library, guys. Oh, yeah. I remember that. Ugh. Quite how? 
his jumping attack didn't actually kill me? I don't know. Oh god, that's... If you see this loading screen tip, good luck with whatever devs add to this level. Yeah. Yeah, I don't agree with that. Ha <laughs> ha! Get fucked. Those seem awfully large for shotgun shells. You know, just, just speaking personally. Oh yeah, I remember that. That kills you. Oh, that's actually a really good weapon, especially as it's silenced. Oh... I might as well get rid of the bastard gun. Pump your magic weapons. Hold L1 to bring up the equipment. Menu. Switch to that. on pump mode. I think that slow movement is literally I'm just walking. Oh Jesus! Nearly died. Walking through cobwebs. Although to be fair, against these things, I really think I'd really rather have my shotgun out. And I need to remember the shot, the double barrel shotgun, holding left trigger does not aim. Doesn't do an aim down sights. No, no, no. Fires both barrels. Learned that to my disadvantage last time I played this. I was trying to do this sneaky bit, I was like, oh yes, sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Pull the left pull the left trigger to aim. Boom. Oh. Well shit. Lovely noises. Yeah. Okay. It's fine. Oh yeah. Who needs to aim with a shotgun just doom it? I mean, yeah, true. Hip fire shotgun. That's all you need. Like that. I was trying to prove a point. I can't get through that. Artyom is so thick he can't get through that. Has to go up through here. <sighs> Nazalis, I'm trying to get through this train car, but my um, arse is dummy thick and I can't get through the door. Done, nice. Alarm system, ancient but quite efficient. If you want to arrive unexpected, try not to disturb the cans. Try to disturb the cans. Okay. <laughs> Red, hello and welcome. You know what's this dummy thick? My skull. <laughs> Thank you for the hydration reminder, also, DJ. Comrade, I'm trying to get through the sewer, but I'm dummy thick, and the clap of my Profovka keeps alerting the Nozalis. See, Mal does it better than I do. Right. Oh, there's the cans. Watch your step. Any crunch or crack will give you away. Thank you, DJ, for your contribution to the Smeagol Stream Challenge as well. Excellent way to get rid of the blind and their devils. You get what to do. That's the same as I've already got. Shotgun wise, I believe. Shotgun. Yeah, those are identical. So you know, just steal from them. I love how there's no thing about if you crouch or if you're in sneak mode or walk carefully, you avoid tripwires because your character you know, steps over them. But no, you know what I gotta do? Jump. Real fucking stealthy. Who does a full two footed jump over a tripwire? Artyom, apparently. Same cent done, good by 69. Well, it's nice what happened. Obviously, that's a good question. 
Well, that's the case in Skyrim too. I know in Skyrim at least you can get a perk, which basically means that you, know, you don't um, activate tripwires, or that could be a Fallout game. But still, it's like, it's a tripwire. If you see it, I don't know, do something so your character just steps over it. Uh, why can't we just step over and crouch towards it? I mean, you know, in some case, in some um, cases, that would you know just basically mean as long as you crouch, doesn't matter if you're looking at at it or not, you avoid a trap. So I don't know, maybe maybe you know, having it so you look at a tripwire and press use when you see it has your character do the step over animation. But I I don't know. They barricaded themselves. Uh, that's Skyrim, it's a high skill, skill but until then you have to hop. Wait, what? Um. Okay, I don't know why I did that. What the? Why does he keep doing this? I'm literally not doing anything. I'm moving and he just keeps on holding the pump um, handle. If you hope your companion will activate it for you. Oh, yeah. Companions. Massive examples of how Bethesda doesn't know how to do um, AI. So, you have a sneak pair that makes it so you don't trigger four traps, trip wires, be true by hovering and uh, activating them with a the button. Yeah. That's the other thing. So, yo, disman yo, you can't dismantle a tripwire. Or maybe you need to look at the tripwire while crouching so you automatically step over. Yeah, that could work. You know, crouch walking towards it. I was so worried that, you know, when the body turned towards me, I was like, he, you know, looked at me. I was like, shit. Shit, ball bearing to the side of his head. I was like, I'm sorry, what the fuck was that? Oh, you. <laughs> uh, let's go home, though. Just walk to it and do not care about the OP. Yeah, that's the other thing with Skyrim. It's like, you can literally just go through the entire game without caring about the traps. If you have it on a low enough difficulty, traps mean nothing to you. Anyway, you see you guys. Yeah, good way. Traps don't do much damage unless you're on a high difficulty. I mean, that's the same with everything in Skyrim, really. Just wanted to take a seat. <laughs> yep. Uh, oh, sorry, mate. Like drama alarm attacks? No problem at all. Shit, that guy was literally following me! I love how this lantern that he was carrying just you know, goes out as soon as he dies. Like it's connected to his life force or something. He was, however, about to see this guy. Maybe. I don't know. Oh shit, you're though. So this guy, I'm pretty sure I legitimately fall asleep. I mean, to be fair, it doesn't leave much um, in the sense of impact. Well, impact, injury, shenanigan, bollocksy wankies. That is actually um, Artyom's um, exertion sound. Urgh. There's three of them. Oh shit. Oh shit! Jesus Christ. Is the average eye pants load? There. Archie in the thwomp. <laughs> Might go really sick. The falling over will cause the lantern to crash onto the floor, breaking letting anyone nearby. Yeah. That was close. Yeah. He's just going to ask for a hug. <laughs> what? Who's there? Will you hug me? Oh. Instead, nope. He gets a high pressure ball bearing through the chest. Somehow killed him. I mean, you know, ball bearings hurt. Ball bearings can puncture the skin, but I'm pretty sure just a random one shot into your chest wouldn't kill you immediately. Him out, look out! <laughs> I tell you, they're making it too easy. This bunch was trying to save a buck and didn't hire a rear guard. That's a 
stupid assholes. Wage picked off a couple and the rest ran away in panic. We were waiting in the side tunnel to bushwhack them. Cut them down like pigs. Uh, don't talk about pigs. Just makes me hungry as hell. So, uh, how was the loot? Uh, pretty shabby. Only five guns and a few bullets. The shitheads were mostly hot. Fuck you. Fuck you. Jesus Christ, that guy's resilient. Holy shit, how hasn't he died? Took about five or six shotgun shells, falls to the ground dead. Oh, that hurts! You have multiple men down. Yep. Multiple. Oh, right. Do you ever think you consider streaming Dead Space? I think it's as fine as a horror game, but it never particularly scared me. No. A, because I can't get hold of it. Because, yay. Um, it's a pain in the ass to stream anything on PS3, and it's not on PS4. And B, because I've already finished it, it's not going to have any effect on me whatsoever. I... There's a stream thumbnail. That's painful. This is a bit. Thing is though, look at his face as well. Look how contorted his face is. He's boxed in. Oh my god, Mal! <laughs> You're not wrong, but Jesus. I don't know if I'm done it. Uh, no, since he's a chilly game. Yeah. yeah, he's just, you know, chilling from a boxing match. Just straight up chilling from a boxing match. Pretty much. His force is splintered and he died with wood. Snake. Snake. Snake! <laughs> Literally gurning at me. Um. Oh. Okay. Yoinkus Maximus. I've been in pun day today. Oh, Mally Daddy. Oh, Mally Daddy. The puns, the puns are calling. <laughs> Did he bonked mock? <laughs> oh, shite. Alright, yeah, fine. You know, just don't take combat tactics into consideration whatsoever. Just, you know, walk right in. Okay, fine. Let's let them do it. <laughs> he clearly wanted to take point at that point. From Glen to Glen and down the mountainside. He's literally just gone in there like a like he's playing Call of Duty. I'm playing Metro. That guy's playing Call of Duty. <laughs> fine. That's probably one of the first things I've seen actually works better under pressure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> bravo, Red, bravo. <laughs> uh, DJ, have you? So Twitch is fucking up. We're back. Have you read? Have I read your message on Metro? No, I did not. Sorry, DJ, I missed that. I'm playing Metro with 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 um, light high, and I do forget they can't see me because it's dark for them. Ah, yeah, I'll do it. So I'm gonna show you how the hell would I've gotten past here without killing everyone. But 
I suppose I could, you know, if I wanted to, I could get a guide for that, but I don't care. I really do not care enough to do that. Uh, okay, so I could, you know, disable the light source from through there, I suppose, maybe. I don't know. I don't care enough. <laughs> I care about seeing what this series has to offer after this game, and I'm playing it through from this game first, but I do not care enough to get the platinum on this. Not after what I've seen, you know, is involved with getting the platinum. So, oh, oh boy. Oh, no. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. Don't play hero, boy. I'm not in the mood to get killed today. After he one man tank armied that checkpoint. Just, you know, walked right ahead. I did go back and I did hear you edit. Cool. Thank you. Glad, I'm glad you've. I had the right timing there. Oh, God. Hi. Oh yeah, I've already got some. Did he just? No, he didn't. So I play about like, so shit. Oh, he can't see me. Yeah. Now, Russian ingenuity. If you throw enough soldiers at the bullets, eventually they run out of bullets. Yep. That is pretty much. He actually is shooting at something. <laughs> What's my gas mask present? Who never followed legitimizes my claim, so I'm no bastard for the than nothing he owns. <laughs> Don't play hero, bruh. Oh yeah, shit. Oh, that blood just sticking down my gas mask. Oh, the blood. Oh, the blood. He was shouting out clip change, but stopped after I killed that um, last one. Okay, okay. He's alerted the horde. Yeah, it wasn't even me this time. So easy to, uh, uh, easy to go from the Witcher. Probably because folklore inspired. Oh! Thanks, Bourbon. You blocked my shots, but you also blocked me getting um, attacked. So, you know, we'll call that one even. Talk skin, peel back lips. Visually, it just looks similar. Yeah. Uh, look, I remember I got scared here in growling distance. Yeah. Ammo box, apparently. Ugh. God. Why this? Why are the spider webs in this so eerily realistic? Why? Out of all the things. I don't remember that in the original. I'm gonna stop fucking around that you can see you playing now. That was just too fun to pass up. Oh Dude, I'm not gonna lie, uh, Metro makes me um, not have them as pets, so I get so scared of them. Holy fair. Hold on. Remember that I've never played a Metro game. They are worth it. Well, the first one definitely is. I'm gonna 
I'm sure what that was meant to be. Rubber ducky on the door, yes. <laughs> Don't go squishy. Kelly, hello and welcome. I probably should stop uh, messing around because I just realised, you know, I'm wearing a gas mask. Ergo, I'm on a timer. Lots of the fish tank are going insane. How so? Will they not leaf the fish alone? Or do you need to find the root of the cause? Oh, we were waiting for people who were... Oh, okay. Post me a picture. I will check now. Jesus Christ! You're not wrong, Callie. That fish tank is now more plants than anything else. So that's a, fi a fish tank, it's more now a greenhouse. Oh shit. I really cannot wait for Bourbon to give me his shotgun. Go! Steak, I want it so bad, and I'll see the price. I didn't realize I don't want it that much after all. Oh, Cali makes really good steak. Oh man, I miss having good steak. Yeah, the price of it is somewhat on the extortionate side, usually. Uh, Brain, is that a bed? I mean, that's a doll, Brain. Then why are they making those noises? I've never heard a bed squeak like that. If your bed squeaks like that, then something wrong with it. Uh, can I also, I'm um, getting a 40 gallon tank when they have the dollar in gun sale. Nice. Horde is horny. <laughs> Can't have another cat or a puppy, but fish. Fish I can get. Fish. No! Well, this game definitely likes to say you can't go back. Yes, it really was. Enjoy beef based dishes. Depends for me. Oh, that looks like it's better than mine. It has a thingy on it. I don't know what the thingy does. I uh, just I don't know. Uh, $40 for 10 ounces at the local restaurant? No thanks. Yeah, that's definitely, yeah, not worth it. Bed squeaks like that, someone's lucky night. <laughs> so I'll see Fortress 2 Engineer dancing. Yep! Boom. <laughs> Hello, Shen. Welcome. Oh. Give me that. Set that on fire because those can fuck off. Definitely one of those two things. Eeyore for sure. A yes whore. And now we know why I'm not allowed to say American phrases and slang.
Yes, whore partner. <laughs> So on a scale of yeah, hey, what's your um, um level of sophistication? On a scale of yeehaw, partner, to yes, hello, friend. <laughs> I'm a bit of a yes whore partner myself. I'm sophisticated, but I'm still in touch with the kids. Yo, if you're coordinating the hyper ju by July. That's <laughs> the quote. <laughs> I've taken damage, but I can't use my med kit. I think I'm on. I think it's regenerative health. Or oh, shit. Like that. Yeehaw, yes. Fuck why not both. Yeah. Yes, whore. Suka. As if Nasalysis behind us were not enough. Now we're stuck in the fucking graveyard. Artyom, search the bodies. I'll try to get our asses out of here. Okay. Oh! Oh, okay. Yeah, military grade, but 16 military grade ammo. Jesus, I'm rich. Such no no since uh Jason so it doesn't seem to still look me. I'm pretty much the same. Shit's haunted. Well then why the fuck? Oh he's dead. This offer run told me I, in fact, wasn't the game tag. Mr. told me the shrooms I found in the storage crate. Oh, hi! <laughs> One minute to go on pizza. Speaking of new fish, you have new fish. Nice! What the hell just happened to me? Artyom, did you hear those songs? I wouldn't wish it on an enemy. Oh, the officer. Oh, <laughs> what seems to be the officer problem? A long, thin, blue-eyed lemon pleco to help with the algae. Ooh. Very pretty. Oh, right, dipshit. Run, 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 run. Woo! Woo! Now there's no idea. Woo, what have we here? His dream of being lubricated. Yep. Think you hung your willy outside that door, the ghoul monsters would take the base and make your last unrated moments fun. <laughs> I dream. I dream of Nozali head job. Thirty in military head ammo. Jesus Christ! I'm gonna be a fucking um, superstar next time I get somewhere that I can trade. And also, I don't know why, but of all the things you can call your dick, Willy is the funniest to me. Stay calm. Uncle Bourbon will get us in. Willie! 
Or Drozion. Yeah, you want to have some? Oof. That's a long way down. Hey, people! Open up! I mean, you know, probably gonna have to go down there, go across there, and come up there again. Are you deaf in there? We are going to be eaten! Who the hell did you drive with you? Damn the cell! Stay off the trolley! We'll send the rest of us! Arjun, hang on! Fate's on our side! Bullshit. <laughs> I just look like he full on face planted after I shot him. He didn't, but you know, it looks fun enough. There's also a name why people look at me questionably uh, when I say I enjoy playing with Willy in the day. <laughs> ow, ow. You couldn't have got that guy off my back. Jesus Christ. Past the booth. Okay, you gotta run. I had a long day of people testifying. Test the lines on my face at depositions. Oh, fuck. Love you, have fun. Thank you, Kelly. Love you too. I'll see you later. Have yourself a good night, a good rest, and I will speak to you probably tomorrow. Enjoy lying in the depots. <laughs> Enjoy your rest. Yeah, definitely. You're the master fucking gutter. Yes. I know mine definitely is. Hey, you! Show yourself! Do as he says. These guys have no sense of humor. Oh yeah, shit. Probably should have taken my gas mask off. And I've given up hope of ever seeing you alive again. Simon, look who the snout scared up. God damn it. We stepped in this shit now. Hey, Mikhailovich, what a coincidence. I was just coming to visit you. You hear that, boys? Set out the good dishes. Bourbons come to visit. Ha. Ah. Don't go running off, Hello and welcome. Uh, Red's mind is always somewhere between just high enough to be fun, just low enough to sink to the gutter. Which makes it even more confusing as to why people talk to me. Mine just mostly stays in the gutter. Absolutely. I've never seen that idle animation before. Artyom is a certified dumbass. He got his finger stuck in his own gun. That's the funniest thing since um, Mara Jade. Mara Jade in one of the um, Dark Forces games. She has her lightsaber out, active, and she goes... I was like, what did you think was going to happen touching a lightsaber blade? <laughs> Excuse me. As far as you must answer three questions. What's your favorite color? Shit. I've never seen a mark of like how the Westview Japanese people look underage. Oh, you watch me get DMCA'd for the background music now. I'm so glad they changed in the Redux the fact that damage no longer smashes your um, gas mask. So, you all drunk. What are you getting this time around? And who's the boy? Look here, boss. The light on the back of my control pad is going nuts. Sure. I just can actually get high of agency fighting from a therapist needs must deal with the overwhelming depressive nature of that happy leaf. It's fair. Don't move! Stand still, I'm talking to you! Okay, these two may pass. I have enough damage suffered. Let's move our asses. Or would you like to enjoy their company? It's definitely not anywhere near as um hey, what's your tone? as fragile as it was in the first um original. I, I was wearing my um gas mask that entire encounter. If I'd been the original, my gas mask would have been shattered. We're in deep shit. To get DMC when I say that's true. <laughs> Thankfully not. Did you see it? No. It could have been an enemy scout. Now who knows what happened 
I don't know how, I've not had a single DMCA strike or anything. I've had copyright claims on my YouTube videos, but meh. Those actually don't do anything because I'm not monetizing YouTube and never will be and never really want to be. Yoink. <laughs> 213. I have 213. Ew. Military bullets. He's giving me those looks like, where the fuck did you come from? It's like, that took the long way. Don't judge me. Hi. What? What do you want? Get lost. I'm not in the mood. Nor is your mouth by the looks of it. Jesus. Well, we can't go to Hansa. Look. Oh, here are some cartridges. Go uh, get a couple right, of Also, how quickly my moves change sometimes. I wonder if I might be I'll bipolar. So, that'd be another reason why I need to see one. You could be done as an ADHD for a 50th time and maybe a match illness. Well, off you go. You have around five minutes. Yeah. Getting getting an actual diagnosis for mental illness is really difficult. Yo, know, beyond just like, oh, you're depressed. Oh, you have anxiety. It's like it took me a while for a what um to get my diagnosis. You know, for someone to um eventually not stop saying, Oh yeah, actually you're probably not um, depressed, it's probably something more. Oh, would have been here. Oh right, so I came out here. Oh, I see where I was. Yeah. Slap him. Thank you all for your contribution to Smeagol Stream Challenge. Hi. What will it be? If anyone reads me, respond. It's Moscow, Market Underground Station. What's Bullets there? What do you care? I'm meeting her today after the watch. No, she promised to go with me to pick mushrooms. You bastard! I'll say that again, you asshole. Well, I have a lovely discussion. What's your situation, man? All quiet, lady Mary. Though I smell a rat for some reason. I am watching you. This game has to say a feature for you. It does. It does not. Feck. Sorry about that. I will refund those points to you, Red, and give me two seconds. I'll disable the command. Completely forgot about that. You ever forget something? There we go. Sorry about that. Yep, save God damn it. Command is now disabled. Which is stupid and civil, so I didn't know that it was a, if it was a feature. To be honest, neither did, I, neither did I when I first started the game up. Yes. And a copy of Metro 2033. 32 military grade bullets. Okay. I'm a little on the rich side. Just a little. I was sick of that. I would, but the game does it for me. Give me that gun. I'll trade you. I've got a double barrel shotgun. It's better, honest. No? Fine. Thank you for the hydrates from Anderson. And DJ. And Red. Oh, I'd rather put that one down. <laughs> Thank you. Very much appreciated. Give me hydrated during this. The boss is busy. Come back later. So you know what those eye holes on the balaclava are for? So I know where to put my dick when I'm going to skull lost. fuck you. Uh, how about some moonshine? What's the occasion? Did you came coming apparently. Nothing beats hydration train on Mondays. No, it really doesn't. Having two six-person hydration trains in one stream. Jesus. Mal with a sneaky hydration, thank you. It was fire. A little soldier, just like you. Yeah, just like me. You know, 
Ever since that time, the vampires came pouring out of the side tunnel. I dreamed them every night. There I am, commanding my squad. But their guns are down, and everybody's drunk. These walking corpses are attacking. And I'm screaming, open fire! Uh, there we are. My thought process was, okay, I just went through about five scripted events in five minutes. This was made by Bethesda, it would have crashed at least twice already, so if they use option, do it now. It's a very good thought process to have. Thankfully, oh, I do not go to that. I was going to say, this game could be remarkably stable, but then I re remember the, the first time I streamed this, it crashed almost immediately. <laughs> What are you selling? Sawdust? In the space of 30 seconds, I have heard the phrase, it's a bit too expensive, three times. Vroom vroom. Will this change? Give me one of those. Can you stop, sir? I want to ask you a question. So then the market is like that, right? Yeah, pretty much. Trade in versus a, sh a shambler. Nice so Robin's shotgun is very effective at close range and stays so even at medium range, but it takes quite some time to fully reload. Tick hard. A makeshift air gun, surprisingly size and accurate. Overpressurizing its tank increases power, but the extra prevention events before long. Revolver. Simple reliable weapon for in the Metro. Which creates some rather kicks like a mule. Bastard. So makeshift SMG has a high rate of fire, which makes overheat and jam rather rapidly, hence the weapon's name. Take a shamble them. Take it. Just one of those left. Yep. Agree. Customize. Okay, smudge up. Barrel. Extend barrel. Make shotguns more effective at, efficient at medium and long range by sighting buckshot spread pattern. Shotgun silencer. Uh DJ says only Russia fucked with the Metro Law is the UK fucked as well. Pretty sure the world is. It's post apocalyptic. You know, world state. I think it filters. You are very right. But I mean, what you can't. Oh, Jesus Christ. You, my um, face cam perfectly hides how much uh, military grade ammo I have. So let me just. You know, let me just show. I don't think I'm running out anytime soon. I think I'm good. I think I'm good for a little bit. Shotgun silencer. Mm, yeah. Silencers don't actually make things silent. Yep. Why the fuck you use silencer for shotgun? Got a lot of money. Yep. Optics. Meh. Misc. Laser sight. Sight all mm, wouldn't be too bad. It's face sight. Customize. <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck even is that? That doesn't work. That is not located on the centre of the barrel. That is not how a silencer is supposed to be fitted on. And also, it's a revolver. You don't put silencers on revolvers because they don't fucking fit. Big iron. <laughs> oh, 
I don't know why that's funny to me. Probably because if you actually did that in real life, you would kill yourself. Because the amount of kickback the revolver has, and the fact that you're supposed to put your eye up to the scope and top on it, you pull the trigger and kill yourself because it cave your skull in. There's yeah, a ranger had a big iron on his hip, a big iron on his hip, a big iron on his hip. Well, that's a big iron now. That's Star Wars. Yeah, that is also very Star Warsy. Also, I don't. Why is the gun's barrel um, better capable of satisfying it than I was? <laughs> oh, that's dark. That's dark. <laughs> Not going to complain. That's dark. <laughs> First aid. I've already got 11 minutes and 16 seconds worth of them. I'm full on those. I'm full on 20 minutes. Okay. Okay. Secondary. Incendiary grenades. Oh, Jesus Christ. This primitive incendiary device doesn't more than a bottle filled with gasoline. It's still a dangerous if employed skillfully. I'm no chemist. But I'm pretty sure gasoline does not glow. I'm very certain gasoline does not glow like that. Hand grenade. This makeshift grenade is essentially a lengthy steel pipe with filled with explosives, but it's still be quite deadly if it goes off close enough. That makes it sound like That makes it sound like it's the explosion that causes damage, it's not. A length of steel pipe being you know shattered apart by an internal explosion will still be fucking deadly because ouch. That human's best when made one's own expense. I mean, yeah, you have a, you have a point there, but still. Very gasoline, I suppose, yeah. That's fucking gasoline. Challenges. No fucking thanks. It's like radiation. It does, doesn't it? Or at least, you know, it looks like glow sticks. It's really annoying because, you know, the light on the back of the PlayStation 4 controller, it still keeps bugging out, and I can see it in the bottom of my peripheral vision, and it keeps making my eyes go, like, wait, what? There's something going on down there. The passage is open for residents and local workers only. So you know your friend I told about and why the battle clouds have eye holes? Applies to you too. I'm gonna skull fuck you. They've been cool, I think it's it. Need to figure ammo No. That's the problem, I do not. Bullets exchange. You won't find better rates in Hall Metro. Full. Not full. Full. Assault rifle ammo. However, do need some more of these, so yes. Sixty two sixty two shotgun shells, that should do. Good deal. Yeah, I'm down to what? Ninety four? Ninety four military grade ammo. After buying and upgrading a weapon and then getting some ammo and filling up my um, filters. I think I came off well on that one. Oh there he is. Well, I made an arrangement with the guy here. He's a greedy asshole, but we can't do anything about that. Great. Let's go then. I think you already know the way. Do I? News to me. Uh, it depends on if everyone is like the guy who took eight slugs before dropping. True. Because they're greedy bastards. Yeah, but then you get the rest of these guys on me. And I'm pretty sure I couldn't take all of them. I've already paid Mike. You didn't pay me. But if you don't want to go through. I want this. Shit. A 
pleasure doing business with you. All right, all right. I'm just kidding. Get ready, everyone. The gate's opening. Puff, yeah. You sure, Commander? Take your positions. Cover me. Damn. I hate this so much. Can let me go on this? No, he does. He gets to go on it. Can I, can I at least have his gun? All the shells in it? No, I'm going out there. Like, maybe. Maybe. No? No? I'm. Oh shit. Some vampish cards. <laughs> emerged into the ruins of Moscow and felt both fear and sorrow. But after a life on the ground, I also saw strange beauty in the dark skies and frozen landscape. So that's the dead city, grunted Bourbon. Welcome home, Artyom. Then you get to play with Big Decker. No, you don't. Some guy like this has always picked the big guns. Get them. Are they going to hunt you now? Be really careful now. Someone was a little bit on the iffy side. And here we meet a happy citizen. Stalkers. Those crazy devils come to the surface almost every day looking for scrap, ammo, anything they can dig up. Sometimes you find the dead ones frozen stiff, like snowmen in rags. <laughs> Search the room carefully. You might find another cache here. They often make hideouts for themselves on the surface, just in case. So just take a careful look around, and we'll have no problems with spare filters and ammunition whatsoever. Uh, okay. We got here. Ah, a filter. That will surely come in. Uh, someone mentioned the stalker. I was seeing the exact same thing. Thanks, friend. Get out of here, stalker. Oh god, so my mum and dad's snoring. Ooh, not good. I've got the key for the um the cache, I just need to find it. I honestly thought that one shot killed me. Oh well. It's a lot better compared to other things you could be forced to listen to. This is also true. Gotta say one thing. Damn, that's pretty. That's that's a very pretty game. Considering this is this is quite old now, and this is a remaster. That's quite nice. High definition and 60 FPS really do help. So long as I sleep in the lounge, she said no. Ooh. Pretty but fucking dangerous. Oh yeah, of course. I just want to know what actually happens if I trip that one. Quite possibly strikes that um, and ignites it, and then boom. <laughs> hey. 
don't need the incendiary grenades because I've already formed them. And 38 military rounds. Well. So flying boss has scared me the most. Yeah, yeah, the flying bosses in this are a little on the nasty side. Oh fuck, I miss this area. <laughs> I tend to over-explore. Pretty sure you don't need a torch. No. We've got to reach the air shaft, which we'll use to get to Red Wolf into scares of the time as no such thing as loot. Like this is a final game. Is that blind games? Nah, it's not, it's not blind, yo. You're focused. You're doing something else. So that's the dead city. Welcome home, Artyom. That wasn't catching me. Gross. You'll have to go around out here. Don't step in the puddles. You'll get irradiated and shit. See that gated building? Your target is a vent in the backyard that leads to dry station. I'll wait for you in the building. There's a range of hideout on the upper floor. Make it quick. Don't eat yellows now. Are we a battery there? <laughs> what battery? Use the compass. I need to hold touchpad. So, yeah, need to tap it once. Oh shit. Wendy, I can fly! Let's give this a flashlight. Let's that as flashlight. Just wait for more to sign to I get to debug so it can be that sad. Fair. Let's wait to see do my other message. Uh oh you do want them um them as pets but you just get them? Fair. Hearing flashlights. Yep. Sounds about right. I've had in if you high enough to break your outer shell and either go inside. Can't kind of dumb mistake, bird. I know. <laughs> oh shit! Fluffy, how you do it? Um, higher than the demon is here, ain't it? Yeah, pretty much. Oh, yeah, fuck up. Growl. I love the reload animation on this. I really do. Ah, the watchdogs. 
I keep shooting everything that just wants to hug. I hug with bullets. I hear another one. <laughs> Dogs are here. These fucking shells. Clear and learn until you hear that shit. Yep. I really need to find that key. I can't. It's a checkpoint based game. I can't open up the menu and save. We've been through this. Fucking dark ones. Play Friday since you play it at night, even. I mean, I'm playing it at night now. It's night time today. How is it ten past two in the morning already? That's a new thing. They never did that in the um, original. Weird theme is didn't Warner Brothers trademark the Nemesis system? Does that mean Minecraft um, can trademark uh, tables only ten percent of the side of our games? It would, you would have a very, very hard... Minecraft would have a very, very hard time proving that they invented the um, concept of making tables in games. So, no, they couldn't. Well. It's because Warner Brothers were the first to make the Nemesis system, so they trademarked, so they, you know... They own the intellectual property to it. Ergo, they actually can trademark it if they want to. It's like, can they? Yes. Should they? No. When it comes to um, uh, the Warner Brothers thing, anyway. And again, crossing tables are a staple thing right before Minecraft, though. Yeah, but it's also still you know, a base, a base functional item. You couldn't, you couldn't really trademark something like that because you know those things exist in the real, in the real world. As all, um, so jokey about Warner Brothers being made up for dickheads. Oh yeah, it's an absolute stupid thing for them to do. It really, really is. I'm in danger. So that's fair. I love the way this gun reloads. I really do. Uh, especially not going to use them system anyway, so what waste? Yeah. It's basically, they have said, oh, we're not going to make any more Shadow of War games, but you know what? No one else is going to be making, making anything better. Because, fuck it. That's pretty much no point. Did I buy enough slugs? I'm starting to, I'm starting to wonder. Let's have a look. I've got 66. Yeah, it's fine. Oh, come on, how can I not get into that thing and hide? Jesus. Oh, no, this actually is where I'm supposed to be going. Never mind me. Can't wait for the copyrights to run out on Nemesis system. 
that will take a while. Copywriting on something usually lasts quite a while. So like yeah, with other dead um, gaming series like Dead Space. Yeah. I don't think I'm supposed to go down the elevator. That's that's the thing. I don't think I'm supposed to do that. Well, not the point of progress anyway. I saved again while I'm going here. The system is so good that it shouldn't be limited to one game series. Yeah, It'd be even better if it's given to a game series that will actually you know, make even better use of it. Great Gatsby only recently entered the public domain. Mm -hmm. With um, with books, um, the copyright belongs to the original writer for 100 years, unless you know something else happens. So many series like Dormant since the game companies that own them as uh, doing fuck all with them. Yeah. I mean, for example, um, Legacy, Legacy of Kane. Legacy of Kane series really needs another game, but will they ever make it? Nope. So it's going to be a fight! And it dropped- Oh my fucking god! Um... I've got to go through that entire section again. Wow. Wow. Time splitters. I mean, to be fair, they made a f they made a few time splitters games, like three of them, wasn't it? Mass Effect doesn't need another game, but it makes money, so it um, does need one. Yeah, it's going to get one. I I agree, though. I don't think Mass Effect really needs a th uh, Mass Effect Five. That doesn't really need to be it. Doesn't need to be made. I bet square one out. Yeah. It's kind of bullshit. I don't like repetition. I don't like repetition in games. That's why I don't get on with roguelikes uh, most of the time. Little public card again. See you back. Welcome back, DJ. So got 14 minutes. Worth the filters. It's all good. Um, okay, something I'm sick of: Call of Duty and Battlefield. Um, I'm indifferent to Call of Duty. Call of Duty games for me are basically turn on, turn them on, switch brain off, have fun with a first-person shooter game. Not that va I'm not all that massively offended by them. Battlefield, though, never really played them. Don't really care because they're multiplayer focused. Uh, are they going to milk that series dry rather than let it become a pleasant memory? No, they're not. If they were going to milk it dry, we wouldn't be on Mass Effect 5. If they were going to milk it dry, they would have um, not um, gotten the hint that Andromeda was shit 
and just made more Andromeda. The fuck? Oh, it's a revolver, isn't it? It's a revolver with a stock and a underbarrel handle. <laughs> okay. I forgot you can do weird stuff like that with these guns. I love it. Uh, I mean, you have fun with co with cards like your 4A to FPS. They are for a mo for a lot of people. So it's, like, it's usually either f um. Call of Duty or Halo, for most people, as their first foray into FPS games. That's a nice little sound effect, that's as well. Mass Effect 5 has a concept that makes me more cautious regarding that. Shepard destroyed the Reapers, sell down Maritali or Garrus, I think it is invalid. What is he going to do? Come up with a magical new greater threat? I mean, it's, it is set quite a way after Mass Effect 3. So... I honestly, because it's um, Bioware's original team, I trust them. I trust them to come up with a, with a, a storyline and get us hooked again. I'm, um, you know, looking forward to what they do. There's also Dragon Age 4. I mean, that, that wasn't even my chosen ending. Do you think you've heard um, First Person Shooters, Borderlands 2? I think mine was Wolfenstein 3D. Fairly certain it was Wolfenstein 3D. It was either that or one of the um, load of other um, shareware first-person shooter games that were around about that time. That's gunfire or metal being slammed. It's gunfire, it might be bourbon. It's not being slammed. And... Uh, right, we're going to obviously go and buy Mass Effect 5. Also, we're going to make it a make or break game to if I give um, any future Mass Effect a try. I mean that's a good uh, that's a good point, yo. What the fuck happened there? Right, it all depends with um with Mass Effect games like it should. Whether or not you play them is based on your experience with the first one. It's the same when they first when they first made the first Mass Effect. That if it hadn't been successful, they wouldn't have made Mass Effect 2. And definitely not the third one. Even though, unlike a lot of things that are that turn out to be trilogies, they didn't really make Mass a Mass Effect 1 in the sense of this could end here, or this could go further. Actually, it kind of did. Especially with, you know, how, <laughs> how Mass Effect 2 starts off.
I don't know how it went any. Wolfenstein ha is probably um, its software's most troublesome um, series. That series has been rebooted so often, and it's gone from doing okay to doing amazingly to doing badly. So many times, and they've rebooted. I do not know how many times they've rebooted the Wolfenstein series. Like, I really don't. At least three. There's at least three reboots of Wolfenstein. Possibly more, but I, off the top of my head right now, as far as I can remember, it's three. It's possibly more. But the th I can think of three right now. So two starts off the shepherd dying, and um, if here's she, I am Mel Shep. Who's the man ordering arms and plants for whenever shepherd wakes up? So walking activates the horny scene activate. I mean, it's not even implants. It's you know, shepherd is just generally you know rebuilt from the ground up, and it just happens so happens to be that um get sexualized if you're um female. Female shepherd. Female shepherd is massively sexualized, uh, much more than the original in uh, Mass Effect 2, and I put that down to EA. Like a situation with the new order and old blood. Yes, but not the new Colossus. New Colossus can fuck right off. Let's get out of it. Uh, new Colossus. Don't like it. New Colossus is probably the one of the one of the worst Wolfenstein games I've played. Uh, well, I'm so mad. I'm so mad that they tried to femship, but they didn't give me a day of our bulge from Labyrinth. Well, they're not going to because you know it's EA and it's the gamer market. So they're not going to sexualize men because why would why would male gamers want sexualized men? I'm sorry. What now? Okay then. Okay. Wasn't even trying. Was not even trying for that. Didn't even know that was an achievement. Uh, you'll have a foot and find out the cavern. I never even played that. We can kill the thing. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> yes. Yes, you can. I mean, to be fair, I when it um, swooped and attacked me earlier, I did put two shells into its face. And then another two, uh, another two right just then. <laughs> Shotguns, they solve everything. Uh, right. I have two modes. Sexualize nothing or sexualize everything. Either give a sexy man and woman or nothing. Mass Effect franchise can choose either and I'd be fine, but I'm not picky. I'm thinking that they'll go more with the sexualize everything um, thing more than anything because, you know, Mass Effect horny space opera. And that's what the fans like. I know I'm among them. I know Fox is as well. Fox likes her, um... Her, uh, sexy space aliens. So they're bloody armor hiding from it. <laughs> Red, I took the heavy gear with me and went north to exhibition. They're having huge problems with our old friends. If I'm not back in a couple of days, gather our men and tell the colonel. Good luck. Oh, that's what it sets off. 
fires a shotgun shell at you. It's a bloody effective um, trap, I'll tell you that. Maybe it's holding space up for a while, so choose Sally because she's adorable, not hot. I mean, in fairness. It's pretty much the same with me and Garrus. I choose Garrus because. Um, he's adorable. Garrus' romance is probably one of the most adorable things in Mass Effect. It's hilarious how awkward he is and how amazingly lovable he is with that. Like, the whole thing with um, romance and Garrus starts off with him bragging about how he's good with good at sex. Like, legitimately. Uh, you know, the whole, the whole meme about, you know, the reach and flexibility is him bragging about um, having sex with um, a Turian. And it's like, you know, we were sparring together for ages. You know, she had the reach, but I had the flexibility. But then we took it to the bedroom afterwards, where I had the reach and she had the flexibility. And then you as female Shepherd can say, So, do you want to get in on one of those kind of training sessions with me? And like, I, 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 what? What? And Garrus just fucking blue screens. And it's so hilarious. I love to experience them, um, but I'm not a shit, so if you stream it to romance him. Oh, I will. I will always romance Garrus. Always. You have to wait until Mass Effect 2 to see that, but you'll see it. You will see me romancing Garrus. Because he's he is legitimately just so funny. I keep pressing L1 to bring up this. But that's not what L1 does. Genuinely thought that was something highlighted there, but no, it's just the lenses in his goggles. Speaking of Bioware. Yes. Oh look, I don't need to worry about things getting me from above. <laughs> Cause it's dead. Oh, right. Yeah, as well, Sharp, I'm going to go Tally, Femme, Shepherds of Garrus. Two good choices, but sadly aren't interchangeable. And if you go with neither, they get together. Actually, I can't recall if it's if you go with neither, they get together, or if it's you, know, you start pursuing a relationship with one of them, but then end it, and they end up together. I can't remember which way around it is. OH SHIT! Fuck me! Scared the fucking piss out of me. Uh, Dragon Age Origins really sets you well with the world boon despite the age of it. Yep. That's why I will always recommend people to play Dragon Age Origins before the others. Because Origins is the really, really good one. It's the one where you get all the world building, all the lore, just everything. Everything gets set up for you, everything gets explained, it's all got so much lore in it, and you can lose yourself for hours investigating all of it. Ah, a key. Oh, right, that world explain that would explain lots of their best seats for sure. Garrus easily best man. They could chat over intercoms for a bit, but I never not taking tally for myself, so I'm not in that. I mean you know, like you can actually walk in on them flirting and getting very close together in um the engineering um room. Like in the reactor room, like Garrus has gone and visited her and I was like, Oh, when you walk in and get too close, they actually like, Oh! And just walk away from each other a bit. It's really, really embarrassing. Like, oh, that's fucking adorable. But no, I have, I have pursued um, uh, romances with other characters. In fact, I think I might have done all of them. I think I may have actually romanced everyone in Mass Effect 2. Garrus is still my favourite. Oh no, Tally. I never did Tally. Never, ever have I romanced Tally. For some weird reason. I think I you know I I've played it through 
and I was doing for complete playthroughs every single time I uh, did it. So I wasn't just you know, doing the romance and then stopping. I you know, finished the game every single time. I think I ran out of um, Steam on playthroughs. Uh, mocking the villains as much as I want to kill her again to um, the heck of it. Gets reasons. Oh, oh, it gets better. Believe me, Mock, it gets a lot better. The yeah, awesome that watch out. Oh yeah. All uh, right, so the two QGs can get together if you choose um, horny with the Asari or racist, or you know any one of the other um, um, romance choices in the game, like you know Miranda, Jacob, uh, Jack. There's some romance. There's some romance, romanceable NPCs who aren't um, crew members as well. Liara isn't an option in Mass Effect 2 because Mass Effect 2 is the whole thing of you. Know, anyone you pursued in Mass Effect 1 is no longer a romance option in 2. You've got a choice to um, stay faithful to your original by abstaining from any relationships in 2, or you dump them. I think is you. Know, some of them, if you dump them in 2, you can still get back together with them in 3, which is hilarious. Um, got a choice one else to deal with him. If anything else, the one closest to Duncan. Believe me, uh, Mock, you are going to be surprised with um, how that develops. Javi and Romance Central still confuse me. She does not strike me as romanceable. So, you know, there, there, is, there is a definite romance with her. I can't remember how it goes, but it's essentially... She does end up softening up to you, somewhat. But it's she is quite difficult to romance. Oh, shit, I was actually supposed to come this way. I don't see it. I already killed it. Probably should have approached him where he was. Well... That, that's the game saying, no going back, again. Uh, and also almost fucked the press lady in three before I learned Tali was still around. Quickly changed my mortuary upon the lane she lived. Ah. Oh, section. Oh, I see him. What do you mean, let's fall back a bit? You are standing there, you are doing fucking nothing. Let's fall back a bit, proceeds to stand exactly where he was. He was one of the uh, nasties. Oh, great, two demons. Be with you in a second. Just taking the long route. Not at all sure how I managed that one. I think I got grabbed by a demon, and as it lifted me, it actually triggered the As the transition. Ground, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna complain. But I psychologically interpret Shepard as Tally's whenever possible. Somehow I've become invested enough in the game to see as one of the one of the real. That could potentially be a bit unhealthy, but as long as you were 
acknowledge it. Um, hopefully, it won't get to that point. Uh, ouchie, ouchie. Yep. Yeah. Listen carefully. The bandits control this station. We need to move quietly and take a look around. If we don't see my friends, we get the hell out of here. Remember this crate. Let's just. I love the fact that you know I've still got my gas mask on. It's not letting me take it take it off, so I am actually losing um, the filter um, amount. Uh, the thing is that turning a healthy point probably is because it can be well be something healthy. Fair. Give me some light. Oh, ha, ha. who do we have here? It's Bourbon the Huckster. Look who's talking. Take me to your boss. I have business with him. The boss? But of course. Uh, listen to the boss it is. Uh, where else would you like to go? Uh, uh. Okay, that's enough. Or else we'll have to drag him. Move it. We'll finish this later. Well, this is um very immersive. See if he's forgetting something. I don't see his stuff around. Yeah. Yeah. There's nothing but the rats here. Okay, let's go then. <sighs> oh, I can get his um, AK now. Yoink. Pew, pew, pew. Softly stealthy pew pew. We're trying to do this stealthily. I think I'm doing it stealthily. I'm saying fuck it. I think I already got that to that point. Since I was like 12, 13, my first play must effectively entirely ended up interpreting my romantic taste heavily, actually. Yeah, my love of the nerdy and adorable, at least. What makes this a match to general description? It's no bad thing. Tally at all. So, could we look for the beach? Yeah. And I've got I've got a liking for nerd for um the nerdy as well. Hey you come up. We're gonna cut you up. I think I'm pizza 
He just... What the hell is happening? Why have three people just died without me doing anything? This is how movies and video games can develop a young person in a specific way. They want to become what they see, which is why there's so many alcoholics now. <laughs> it's not so much you want to become what they see, it's also um, a case of um, what you're exposed to as a child determines what you see um, instinctively as normal behaviour. And, you know, if you are full of. If all your exposure is seeing uh, people acting a certain way, then of course you end to assume growing up that is the normal way to act. So that's what that develops. I just saw someone around here. I, I have seen his torch flaring and I have um, heard him. I can still you know, hear him at points. Somehow, though, I've managed to be doing this stealthily. Well, stealthily. They know I'm here, they just don't know I'm here, here. You're not getting away. Excuse me. Now yeah, there's at least two of them. Oh, shit. Shit, 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 shit. Never could get these to work in the original. These guns never worked for me. Don't know why. They just like, they they would hit, but they wouldn't do any damage. I have no idea why they, why they did that. I'm so glad they actually work now because hell, give me a science gun anytime. No one can raise the arms if everyone's dead. That's why I call stealth. Yep, that is definitely one way of doing stealth. That is uh, what's known as, and well, some games um, definitely um, coined it very well, being predator type stealth, as in you know being a predator rather than the um, the alien uh, thing. Ladies and gentlemen, Ed could not have pulled that shot off. But yeah, I've always been that way. Um, Going stealthily and doing stealth takedowns. Slash kills, depending on the game. But yeah, my approach to stealth is kill everyone. Kill everyone, but do it quietly. Oh, look, there's two of them there. I feel like I'm capable of any style of stealth other than Predator. It's fair. I know that I'm not, thanks to having played through the Dishonored series and doing all of it without being detected. Shush. <laughs> Safe scumming doesn't exist, that's all the same timeline, I didn't get seen once. There's that one there, I'm pretty sure there's still one more somewhere else. Yeah, sections like this make me go, nah, I'm not going to go for the um, uh, the achievement for getting the the alternate ending. 
No, no, no. Because parts like this, I could not get through without being seen or um, killing. Really could not. I think that's all of them. Can we see me another guy in perhaps the most boring section? Oh, I've got mics on throwing knives. What is with people being put into the weirdest of positions? What's that? Oh, it's a quad barrel shotgun! Oh, I was wondering what that was. Uh, but I've also had a tendency as a predator to sometimes ignore the need for stealth. This game is an annoying group of enemies by a campfire that's hard to sneak by. I'm putting the magical science or an SMG and they're all disappearing. It's fair. It's, I pretty much did that earlier myself. You know, group of people, group of enemies around a campfire. Like, can't be able to sneak around them. Pull out the shotgun. Boom. I mean, frankly, I like said section, um, but it's understandably boring for some. If you're talking about the breakout section with um, where you got to be stealthy, I can see what you mean. I'm not the biggest fan of it. I don't hate it. I'm just not the biggest fan of it. I do like how the game you know, actively changes a fair few times, the pacing of it. The pacing of this game is done very nicely. Like, there'll be you know, nice, slow, sneaky, stealthy sections like this. Outside sections where you're running for your life, having to dart in between places. Okay. Um, that place is where it's just, you know, an out and out gunfight. That place, you know, where, you, where the best option is non violence. Whoops. Fine, I'll just stand here for a bit. There we go. Square shoulders, shrug it off. Carry on going like a true Russian. Get the approach to the spets now's sake. If it didn't kill you, you're still alive. Keep going. Yeah, I did it. I got... Okay, then. Okay. That's one of the guys who just fell over dead. For no reason. Try mounting then thrust. Yeah. Teach you for dealing with me. Bastard. With a barrel modification. Okay, I don't care.
guy they got just now? No, who was it? Bourbon. Damn, I can't believe it. Where did he get the balls? That asshole Bourbon thought he'd just have a drink with the boss and everything's cool. Well, if it was the old boss, we... <laughs> <laughs> no shit. The new pops has a real grudge against Bourbon. I'll be surprised if that lying drunk lives till morning. Yeah. What? Silky smooth. Smoother than the brain of an of an Isaac Chats uh, member. Insane. Yeah. We kept in Price's voice lines for each kill. <laughs> yeah. Doesn't make it feel so good. Yeah. I do like the um the point in Modern Warfare two, I think it is, or maybe one, where you get to play as Captain Price. Just for one mission. That one mission is all you need. I'm called um, Call Juicy, more than Warfare 1. Thank you, Mock. Couldn't remember exactly which one of the two it was. All giddied up. Yep. Yep, I remember the mission. It's also, that mission was one of the ones that I got stuck on for the longest time on veteran mode. Mostly because the ending. Oh my fucking god, the ending on veteran mode. Fucking hell. Oh, that wasn't fun. I actually had to cheese it. In the end, I cheesed it. I found out that there's a spot. Well, it's basically tricking the enemy spawns. The enemies will not spawn if you are looking at one of the um, one of the spawn points. And there's a point where you can actually set up and be looking at two enemy spawn points, and it's the biggest spawn points. So it forces the enemies to all pretty much spawn from one single place. You can just pretty much um, bottleneck them. It's literally the only way I was able to do it. For me, that was harder than um, Mile High Club. Mile High Club itself, though, was a absolute shitter of a level. On veteran mode. Head's turning itself in it. Yep. You get two missions, total as price, killing Makarov and shooting off Sakaev's arm. He started and ended it. Yeah, you're right. You do end uh, Modern Warfare 3 as um, price I had. Completely forgotten about that. Thank you very much for that, Red. I'm high as a fucking kite now. Probably shouldn't have done that, but oh well. What the 
What the fuck was that noise at the end? Like I took damage. That come, that noise comes so strongly in my right um, headphone. It sounds like there was someone um, sneaking around there. Sound design in this is weird. Good at times, but also weird. Because of my favorite cult mini game of any cult game, the wave based survival. Oh, I can't stand survival. I can't. For me, the best one was um, Spec Ops mode in 2, I believe. Well, again, that could have been 1. Actually, no, I think it was 1. Yeah. But yeah, I love, I love the Spec Ops missions. You know, I soloed almost all of them, apart from the ones you can't solo, and I think the last one, the final one, and the one that you, and one of the ones you can't solo. Uh, Spec Ops mode in two and three. Ah, I'm thinking of two then. Spec Ops mode in um, uh, Modern Warfare Two was absolutely awesome. I loved it. Okay. It's an AK, as if I didn't have one already, and it just made me waste some gas mark time. Gas mark? Gas mask. What did you bring with you, bastard? Answer, Suka, or I will cut you up! What? Who is the prison? One night! Hit me, Durban, who? Artyom! Who the fuck? <laughs> Why the fuck did you hesitate, you fucking idiot? You can keep your weapon down, young man. A sad, but not unexpected finale for the likes of him. My name is Khan. Well, I suggest that we leave this place immediately. The companions of these bandits will show up soon enough, and I'd prefer to avoid more bloodshed. Uh, the reason like Spec Ops 3 is Spec Ops 3 more than one is the mission where you play as a Macross man on the plane. Yeah, it's kind of fun, but at the same time, I still prefer 2, to be honest. Spec Ops really fun, but I didn't like replaying it for more subs. The progression lock gave rotated to me. I was, fi I was fine with it, honestly. That's, that's, that was one, you know, one of the very few times where repetition didn't... Um, Annoy me. I was quite happy to continue, you know, keep on playing, you know, get better, especially the one where you um, get to part the um, the AC-130. Parting the AC-130 was the highlight of Modern Warfare. I've got 320 military grade ammo rounds. 320. Holy fuck. I'm rich again. I hear the man that's here voice for in the animation. A wise decision. Oh, yeah. Khan's appearance caught me by surprise. Although while fighting the bandits, I did sense someone helping from the shadows. What do you mean sensing someone hiding, helping from the shadows? You saw at least three people die without being shot, and I realized that, he, that Khan was the one who was helping me now. It wasn't just you. The game um, bugging it is actually that was Khan. You have to fuck me, Artyom. You have to fuck me. Uh, yeah. 
Let's me know. It keeps it open just long enough. You know, I can still see him dead. How creepy would it be if I did that, and Bourbon's head just went. How fucking scary would that be if that happened right now? That would terrify the fuck out of me. I would nope out so hard. Oh god, yeah, I know, right? Nobody ever walks here. Neither people nor beasts. Even the rat. <laughs> just quit at that point. Would not blame you. That would be very much me going, Nope! I will see everyone next week. Nope. They know we are here. No oh, shit. Come closer to the tubes and listen. Just don't stay for too long. That was fucking laughter. Of the tunnels, others consider it to be a form of psychic influence. I've just realised that guy doesn't have eyelids. He just stares the entire time. Like this tunnel, and it knows me. Do you have a flashlight or something brighter? Yeah, it's not using it. So I've got that. The reason I was pulling this out was burning spider webs. Home. Please keep gotcha. Your line, or else you might stay here forever. Um, I'm back. Welcome back. No power color switch. We're going to sleep at 3.30. Fair. Freeze and look forward. I don't think the word who is applicable here. Oh, yeah, I see the. We need to go around it. Don't touch the silver. Concentrate. What happens if I do touch the silhouettes? I forget. It, instant, it either instant kills me or it actually doesn't actually affect anything. I think I just touched one. Such a quick. Oh, you die. Oh, fair. Uh, this is the section you were talking about that people find boring. No, nah, I I quite like it, but it's nice and atmospheric. Well, hey, moving number six. Yeah, moving is an absolute shitter. Train. Yep. Ghost train. Let's go. I'll fucking stay here. Well, I think we've reached the root of the problem. I don't care if I've already made that joke than this stream. <laughs> it's more applicable here. I should probably try and branch out. 
stop barking up the wrong tree. Please, and look forward. A battle raged here long ago. Don't ask him for the last time. Then start saying my streams, but you can't handle them. Whee! I want to see, um, you know, what what would happen death wise. Move aside, Artyom. Go sort and be one with them. Hooray! Yay! True ending achieved. Usually join that past. Let's go. Creepy. I'd rather that remain a secret. This is personal, my friend. Fair. I was with them when they died. Only I survived. Oh. It appears Out that the devastation gun. we brought upon ourselves was complete. Heaven, hell, and purgatory were atomized as well. So when a soul leaves the body, it has nowhere to go and must remain here, in the metro. A harsh but not undeserved atonement for our sins, wouldn't you agree? Mm, maybe. This time, because we all know how easy it is to make me hungry. Ah, oh, shit! Any time Metro is on shrooms, yeah, I mean, you gotta cope with it somehow. I picked up one shotgun shell and I'm full again. Ninety. 90 shotgun shells, shells is my limit. Guess your pockets will do that to people. Yeah, probably. Seriously, you saying shush made more noise than I've been making up until this point. Oh, looks away, dude.
tells me to concentrate. Is he concentrating? No. As soon as the door opens, they come through. He reacts to nothing. Fucking hypocrite. Concentrate. Say, mate. Really don't. Hey, those section in the bits of the most how dark it gets. Yeah. Concentrate. Just concentrate again, are you? <clears throat> uh, so, oh, you answer me. <laughs> Matt, they didn't get a ping, and I'll blame you for it. You can feel it coming. I Your see. fault for not Better wanting, for not requesting a ping it. on the um, Discord server, Don't dude. Move. <laughs> but hello and welcome Don't still. Move. That's always true. <laughs> of course. Game, could you stop fucking with my controller? I would like it to, you know, have some form of... We call that an anomaly. Not going, you know, not flickering all the time. Didn't it roll, though? I was waiting to say, though. That's fair. Yeah, the lighting clips what through the wall. Phenomenon is. But, you know, it's not any more evil than, say, fire. It all depends on your point of view. Try to get a better understanding of things before you make your judgement. Let's move out now. It's not safe here. He's dead. I hope. Well, he's a cheery boy, isn't he? Thank you for the hydration reminder, DJ. <laughs> Tiny balls. Oh, it reminds me of Team America. I like you. You have balls. I like balls. Excuse you! We were just talking about some um, balls and you saying about coming again. Mm. Sure would be nice if you'd watch my back. Keep going on me to focus and to concentrate. Do you do the same? Do you fuck? Oh, I'm about to die. Not anymore. You know
Stay put. There's no need to interfere. I'm sorry, what? Oh, okay. Well. So that's how it goes. A live demonstration. And that is why you don't touch the glowy things. Who did that? Who would have built a fireplace to put a skull on it? It's blast, I say. Yeah, several shotgun blasts. And a few bursts from an AK. Oh, why did I take the AK? The AK is so awful. Some of these things, you know, um, like that. If I went up to it, and it just, you know, raised its head and started looking at me. Scary again. Oh, look, 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 look. It's number two. Or, you know, he's doing a British swear at me. <laughs> but I've won him out. <laughs> you can use the military grade ammo with the AK. Yeah, but that's my... Yeah, that's... But the rate of fire on the AK, that is literally pissing money away. I would really rather not do that. I have plenty of it. It's just, you know, don't really fancy using all of it like that. Got to have the notes, you know, part in that. The rate of fire on AK is literally pissing money away, so it's an AK. Yeah, I know. But if you're using it with something that's you know, your your currency, then yeah, pissing money away. The ammo, the normal ammo itself, don't give a fuck about. It's cheap. But actually firing the military grade rounds, that is that is definitely pissing money away. But no, thank you. I, mean, I get I get why the AK is in this. I really do. I just don't get the fascination with AKs. Never have done. But Dion, you have a noble mission. Okay, not wrong, you forgot. <laughs> yeah. If it wasn't for the Metrigate ammo stuff, then yeah, I would be using the AK a lot more because bullets are everywhere. So they're um, reliable, hence why they became so widely used. Oh yeah, I know. I know why they've um, so widely used. I just don't get the fan fascination with them. It's like, so they're an, they're a very very cheap weapon that doesn't break down all that much, but generally there's nothing remarkable about them. Uh, I can remember this glitch on this. Oh yeah. Hollywood, I guess. Quite possibly, yes. The station is under attack again. Oh, but I don't care. I don't care. They've got plus armor until we get there. It's fine. No visual glitch or anything. Ah, fair. Yes, they broke through the outer defenses. All the survivors are here. Our diver will live to see another day. Where do the monsters come from? As always from the left tunnel and from the crossing. We sent a demolition squad there, but they never came back. And there is no one else we could send. You are eager to avert your station's doom, Artyom, are you not? And here the doom has already arrived. We must help. Find the remains of the demo squad. They had a bomb. Move it into the left tunnel as far as you can, then run for it. The explosion will be massive. As for the crossing, it's already been buried once, but looks like the Nosalises have dug through the cave-in. There was an airlock close by. It must have been left open. Try locking or collapsing it. I'll stay here with the survivors. 
course Try you will. Try the monsters towards us if there are too many. Of course you will. Saw that. Fucking saw that. And you. That's quite a bit. Yeah. I don't know the way they came at me with the shotgun pointed right at my face. Jesus, the AI in this. Yeah, and this does not seem to care about anything. Definitely not self-preservation. Because you can't see much. Yeah. I have played with the brightness scan on the low side. I keep brightness as default. Oh, you want to catch these hands? Bro, you can't make me catch them. Aww. Oh, that's a lot of them. Bye bye. That's a motherfucker. Yep. Dance Dance Revolution. Khan, you are literally fighting the wrong way. Jesus Christ, your AI. I swear he just tried to use five voice lines at once. At once? At once. My brain. Fun fact, Skyrim was first released in 2988 BC. The Egyptians built Pyramid Cruise for What? I was going to say, let's get in the air for the campaign. It's well done. Oh, yeah. Real dumb. So glad I've got all this shotgun ammo. Really so glad I've got all these shells. Ah, I'm sure they'll be fine. So I'm creating the Big Bang when told our savior and Lord said the words, it just works. <laughs> oh Jesus. I shot you! That's a little crash. annoys me almost as much as repetitiveness. It's infinitely spawning enemies. Oh shit. Oh, that's what I'm supposed to do. Thank you for the hydration reminder, DJ. And on the second day, the Lord said... Just works. And what happens for the rest of the days of the week? Nothing, because Sky because Bethesda half asses everything, including creationism. Ah. 
345. I'm hoarding these bullets. Mostly because you saw how much the um, upgrades and shit can cost. Uh, DJ, are you going to sleep because you're tired? Right. See you later, DJ. Thanks for coming in as long as you did. And I will see you next time. Somehow that didn't kill me. Um, that's not going to lie. It was make sense if Todd created this mess of a world because it definitely has some game breaking bugs. <laughs> yeah. Get fucked. Yes. Through there? No, not through there. It's not letting me... Okay, then. Oh, Jesus! Uh, right on a bright nose, but I thought by Max today, which means I might be possibly phoning you this pit. It's good to hear. It's definitely good to hear, Red. I agree. I agree, I think it sounds like you are starting to. Shotgun ammo. Go cool people don't look at explosions! A big war at a small station was won. I won't be going further with you. I'm still needed here. The tunnels have collapsed. Thanks. If you still want to get to Polis, you'll have to take a detour. You can get to the armory from here, and afterwards you will have to go through the stations belonging to the Reds and the Nazis. Let's move. Okay. The smithy is an independent station, so it should be no problem. But the Reds are another story. They are building a new society, complete with all the lovely police state bonuses, like people informing on their neighbors. At the smithy look for an acquaintance of mine, Andrew the blacksmith. Mention my name. He'll give you a hand. It was a progression lock. This is a missile silo. A shrine to hope. Now even the metric can't say it fascism, then again, as far as where people suffer. Yep. That make us human.
That's it. Get in. Okay, okay. I'll get in your Remember, hole. Everything depends on you and you alone. Until we meet again. Goodbye, Akio. Armory Station was where most of the weapons in the metro were made. There had been an arms factory located above, and after the nukes fell, many of the workers settled here. I was looking for Andrew the Smith, but he found me first. He found me first. Who oh, no. knows? Everything is fine in the metro. Everything is fine in the metro. Call! Who goes there? Stand still! Hey, loosen up. It's a human. Kill the light already! Well, you look human. <laughs> That's all that counts. Come in, this is a free station. Is it really, though? Uh, Rachel will hopefully eventually um, find a permanent end to this pit, and then um, find an even more adorably nerdy girl. Hope she has freckles, those things are fucking cute, so assuming um, surrogate is an option, I can uh, go for a cute guy. Yeah. Always keep your options open. Careful, kid. Our free station is under the watchful eye of the Reds. Paranoia is the new game in town, so keep yourself below the radar. You understand? His accent is like a um, American from the South, and a Russian hate fucked, and that's the accent we got at the end. Um, at the end. Jesus. That's a Yankee. Attention! Document inspection is currently being carried out at the armory. Please stay at your registered residences and assist the law enforcement personnel in their work. Be vigilant, comrades. The enemy never sleeps. And neither do I. Oh, wait, shit, that makes me the enemy. Fuck. Uh, yeah, have you seen how this lies sleeping in Fallout 4? I don't sleep. The only time I've been sleeping in Fallout 4 was to advance the time uh, for the, um, the settlement. Achievement thingy, bollocksy, bundly whips. Get lost. Go to hell. Well. Face to the wall. This is an inspection. Get lost. Hey, come on, quit harassing me. I don't swing that way. <laughs> Got the bolt yet? Prepare for inspection. <laughs> I'm always prepared for this. Uh, doctor, could you check my prostate? Shh. Hush. And who are you? The comedian's boyfriend. Put your hands out. You're under arrest. All right, all right. Lay off. Ugh. I'll come quietly. Huh. Ah. Ah. Run! I'm gonna kill him. Go! Let's get them! Come on, follow me! Be careful, 
not letting me run all that fast. left in our world. That day, he was with me. I had been rescued by Han's friend, Andrew the Blacksmith. He would prove to be my ticket out of the communist station. But the only way goes through a goddamn battlefield, the front line between the Reich and the Reds. You'll need a disguise. Take these overalls, put them over your clothes. The Reds are rounding up the volunteers to storm the Nazi fortifications. They're about to send a train full of new recruits straight into the fire. But you will be riding the train unannounced. Your seat won't be first class, but you don't have to pay the fare with your own blood either. <laughs> Once the troop train has passed the roadblocks... Oh shit. You're on your own. Yep. It's this section. It's this bit. Comes up for his favourite part of the game. Yep. So, there was a guard there, another one there, I jumped off there, and got pulled into there. And you are telling me that the guards thought I'd gotten, I'd escaped. Where? Where the fuck else could I have gone? They would have been watching me. What the actual fuck? That makes no sense. God, the guards are, are stupid and they must have get a solid game. Guards just that dumb. Yep. Sticky grenade. Very good grenade for doing some wire bubbles and hooks without six to target until the fuse burns at the end. Yep. Mm -hmm. As you wish. However, I can sell these. I've got six, 363 um, ammo. Uh, ammo? Military grade rounds. Yeah, I think I'm going to be good. Balanced knives. Great. Hone your arsenal while you still can, but don't waste time. The train is on schedule and it's not waiting for you. Special offers mm -hmm. and discounts. The best guns from the Fort Master. Helsing! A science revolving air gun that shoots metal bolts. Overpressure rate sank increases power, but the extra pressure vents before long. Uh Tika. Revolver. Duplet. The twelve grade shotguns one of the best close combat weapons ever. Blast and both its barrels can kill almost any mutants on the spot. Shamla. Kalash. For, you know, Kalashnikov. That's a pre-war assault rifle, but it's quite really common. It's held in very high regard in the Metro due to its reliability and performance. VSV. An accurate and powerful assault rifle, good for medium range combat. It's somewhat low in models, so they translates into lower noise and faster bullet drop. Kinda want that over my AK. Bastard. Hellbreath. The railgun shoots bearing balls at incredible speeds, but it takes time to charge its capacitor. Deals low damage if fired before charging fully. You know what the funny thing is? I can afford that. I can fucking afford the railgun. And I'm tempted to. I am so tempted to get the railgun. Yeah, why not? Trading Clash for Hellbreath. We're trading your cost will be 188 ammo. That's a deal. I still have 179. Take it. 
Reflex sight. Four times sight. IR sight. Miss laser sight there. Yes. Oh, you bet. IR sights. It really was, doesn't make a difference on that, because I usually use that um, uh, hip firing anyway. But well, to be fair, if I have that, why on earth do I need that as well? I mean, they use the same ammo, but. Uh, Whatever. Shut it. Whatever, my ass. Ah. Selling, buying. Oh, it, the Helsing uses those. Right. I want to buy some more of these. Was that the Helsing Exchange normal ball gun? No? No, no the Helsing uses um, uh, the arrows. Don't know now. I think I actually want to see if I can get the SVS. Instead of the, um, that. Oh, you mean this Just as the hell thing? Wait, wait, oh, what, what the fuck was that? Hell Breath! Nice gun. Which is, you um, the two guns you see in my mind. Isn't now. Ah! Can't afford the SV. Oh, bollocks. Uh, oh well. Be fine. It's okay, guys. He's with us. Come on, jump into the hole, Octo. I mean, I'm in here. There we go. Artyom, you see that luggage hold? Get into it. Oh look, a see the sequel. So what do you guys think? Let's go, huh? Guess the way in the stream. Look at the time, yeah. Hey Andrew, is it really safe in there? I wouldn't like to see him fall down onto the rails. Not ads, no first class carriage. But he's good as dead if he stays. He'd be going straight to the Bianca, and that's a one way ticket. <laughs> okay, pick it up. It's okay. It's all up to you now. Good luck. Ooh. Transit Jacobs, Pride, Warcraft, Nuclear Shows, Storm Wave, or 
Nice little train sequence. Yeah, you know, isn't even you know, grabbing the book to read. He's just you know, laying there. I'd have picked up the book so I can read how this ends. Why am I moving around this much when the train was sat steadily on the rails and yet it was bouncing around as if it was still um, up in the air? Is that the book like the journal you're using? Possibly. Why did you join the army? I followed my political beliefs. As for me, I'm here for that doll. How about you? Me? Join the army, they said. Oh See the world, they said. Huh? My father was a Red Army soldier, and his father as well. It's the family tradition. So tell me what. Death is also apparently the family tradition. To lose arms and legs on the battlefield? They were happy to make those sacrifices. <laughs> sure. Drunks and fools are happy too. What is a ah. capsule in my ammo pouch? What is that? An antibiotic? No. It's cyanide, in case the enemy captures you. What? But God forbid suicide. I'd go straight to hell. Listen, altar boy. A Nazi prisoner is going to hell anyway. Trust me, the pill is faster. I could never take my own life. Then give me your pill. I'd rather swallow two than rot in one of their stalags. He's not wrong. Even the apocalypse didn't stop us from killing one another over ideology. I was about to go through the front line between the Nazis and the communists. I heard they once fought another war. But the Nazis lost. <laughs> mm, yeah, funny that. Right. Checkpoint at the beginning of that chapter, which means perfect opportunity to end the stream. Ah, oh. well, thank you all very much for coming along. It's finally been a full Metro stream. It's only been take taken a few weeks to get a full one um, under the belt. Excuse me, but we've done some good progress. It's been fun. It's been a lot of fun. Like I've personally felt it lacking a bit in atmosphere, but that's also because I remember as I'm going through it, I'm remembering the game as I'm playing it. So the atmosphere and the tension build-ups aren't really having much of an effect on me. The jump scares, hell oh god, yeah, the jump scares are still getting me, definitely still getting me. But the the atmosphere, the tension, all that kind of stuff, it's somewhat lost on me because like I remember this. Okay. I uh, remember it too much. It's been long overdue, but great start. Yeah, it has. Alright, we're up to one of the iffy bits of the game now. So that'll be fun. But still, uh, next stream is going to be tomorrow at 4pm GMT time, where it's going to be going back to Final Fantasy VII Remake. After that, it's going to be um, tomorrow at... Well, tomorrow night at the same time that this was where instead of Pathologic 2, I will be playing Call of Cthulhu as part of a birthday surprise for someone. Well, not surprise, birthday gift. Uh, my present to them was basically me getting the um, the game and streaming it for them because they are a big fan of it. So that's, that's uh, set for tomorrow. But until then, I hope people have had fun with the stream. It has been fun to um, sit down and play through it. And the stream has actually gone quite quickly. Which is always a sign of having a good time. But until tomorrow, hope everyone has a good, um, a good night, good day, a good evening, a good morning, or a good afternoon, whatever the time is for you, whenever you're watching this. Until then, stay safe. See you later. Bye bye.